Hey, what's up YouTubers, Kevin Prince here, and I'm gonna break down that groove you just heard, but first, I wanna explain why I feel grooves like this are very important to learn. Now, first of all, this groove is linear, meaning no two limbs are playing simultaneously together. And yes, yeah, some might say this is a very busy groove or it sounds like you're overplaying, but I believe grooves like this can be more musical. And a lot of that has to do with what's going on up here on the bell of the ride. This groove is going to be played in 16th note triplets, so you could play any type of like halftime shuffle or anything that sounds like this. But we're not going to be playing that halftime shuffle. This is going to be an alternative to that, something that's different. And like I said earlier, what's happening up here on the ride is going to make it sound musical. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is the bass drum pattern. This is the foundation. So you can do this with any bass drum pattern. You just have to adjust the hands pattern to work around it. So the bass drum pattern is going to be boom, do got, to boom, boom, got, boom, do got, to boom, boom, got. Let's try it out. Just kick hats and snare. All right, make sure you are subdividing triplets, one into one into two into two into three into three into four into four into, or you could feel it as halftime, one into two into three into four into one into two into three into four into. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that it is triplets. That's the most important part. Okay, so anyways, let's get to the full pattern. I'm gonna play the first half of it so you get something that sounds like this. Now please make sure you're focusing on two things here. Your dynamics of the ghost notes, all your snare notes are gonna be extremely soft, except for the backbeats of two and four. You wanna crank down on those guys hard and accent those. So you get something that sounds like this. Okay, and for the second half of the groove, we've got Right, left, kick, right, left, kick, left, right, left, right, left, left. That is three and a, three and a, four and a, four and a. So the second half is gonna sound like this. Cool, so let's play this whole measure through slow. All right, nice. Now let's speed this up and play it around 60 beats per minute. If you like my content here on my YouTube channel, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're looking for more content like this, head over to drummer101.com. I have both free and paid content over there. And I also have a course called Introduction to Linear Drumming that will get your feet wet with linear drumming if it's something you're brand new at. So I'm gonna put the link down in the description for both of those and let's get back to the lesson. So by now your limbs should be feeling nice and loose. You are comfortable with that pattern now. Let's speed it up to full tempo and let's check it out. I 
I appreciate you sticking through the end of the video. Like I said earlier, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Head over to drummer101.com for more content, and I will see you later.